What song is that? Disco dog. Oh, sure. Disco dog. Helena there reminiscing. He won't get lost. The first single, the first student nurse single. And in fact, I have a tape that just has uh, the maybe the original master oh. for this mm -hmm. uh, uh, single. It's got three songs on it: "Snow," "Disco Dog," and "Lies." Um, uh, but I think this was just Helena Rogers, and then it be you did the recordings, and then it became student nurse. Or no, how did how did I this think, come about? Yeah, so uh, Bill. William Adams was, so we had a band going, and, uh -huh. and so John wrote Snow, because it's way more, you know, his type of narrative, and then I wrote Disco Dog, probably a little bit drunk when I wrote it, because <laughs> he gave a fuck about Disco Dog, I mean, really, and then Lies I wrote, and um, I hand silk screened that cover. And um, you still have some of these that I we're do. selling, yeah. Yeah, um, not too many of them left. I think I might be down to maybe 20. Ooh, hand silk screen, yeah. uh, three songs on a 45. Uh, and the 2020s band still does lies. Yeah, you do. Uh, pretty faithful to the original. I remember uh, when I joined the band in 1981, we did kind of a slow down ska version of it um, for a while. Oh, we did? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I don't remember that. Um, how many of these did you make originally? Uh, it must have been 500. I mean, yeah. that's the, sort of the de denomination. I still see them on Discogs, and they come up at auction. Yeah. Some, in fact, that's where I think I got this one. So this one is the yellow uh, background. And so this is the first press of the cover itself. I didn't press all the covers up, uh, or print all the covers at the in on the onset, and then when the um, when those ran out, we I did a second color where it was a green background and a sort of a neon wave, but same the same screens. I used the same screens, just different colors. Yeah, um, it's the same technique you used for uh, the a lot of the hand silk screen posters. Exactly. Yeah, um, let's put it on. All right. When was the last time you listened to it? Uh, Actually listened to it. It's been a while. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. What do you, what do you think? One day in the studio? Probably. I think it might have even been John's. No, no, well, maybe we. I wonder if we did this at Triangle. Uh, that's what the tape box seemed to indicate. The city is all tied up. The city is all tied up. Disco dog.
didn't have that many songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the repertoire. this live or uh, over dub? Might have done it live. I don't hear any no, other guitar no, coming there. No rhythm guitar. No. Would this have been your first recording session of any kind? Yeah. Ever? a degree in music in like 74 maybe how's that hold up for you uh you know it, that was pleasurable it's um you know it, it was so it's so fraught with deep meaning <laughs> <laughs> it's john and i used to sit around and smoke a lot of weed and just like come up with stupid stuff um uh, I, I like the guitar solo and the, the bass uh, kind of thumps along. He's actually sort of doing a, playing some chords on the bass to hold it, hold it down mm -hmm. while you're soloing. Um, John does a sort of a, a counterpoint vocal to uh, yours during the chorus. It's got charms. Yes. It's got you know. charms. Um, all right, here's it Lies. It is horrible. It's not like, it doesn't hurt your ears to listen to it. On the other side of this, we've got Lies clocking in at one minute and nine seconds, mm -hmm. and then Snow clocking in at one minute and 40 seconds. Um, it was like we didn't actually have that much to say, I guess. <laughs> well, there was something, something in the aesthetic of the time of keeping it short and simple. Right. I love that crackle. Sixty-nine seconds. All right. <laughs> Here's snow. So William there on the bass is also is he playing also playing keyboards or would he play bass and synthesizer? Okay.
great synthesizer tag yeah, at the end. Yeah, you know, and if you listen to it, I mean, the musicianship, the execution of it wasn't bad. I mean, everything, the notes were there, the rhythm was there. Um, the uh, limitations of the synthesizers in those days... That was a that was a monophonic, which is right. to say a one note synthesizer, right. and you're going to get what you get, right. which is that. Well, that's yeah. The first student nurse single came out in 1979. Uh, it's actually the first three songs on the retrospective CD uh, remastered, uh, and I think it they sound great. I think that they probably came actually off vinyl and then Steve Turnage cleaned it up even better but that's the first three songs on this um, yeah uh, what's next